Hi, I'm Tom Hendrickson from the DevOps Online Summit. I would like to welcome you to Mark Peters. Um, welcome, Mark Peters, to the February edition of the DevOps Online Meetup. And uh, this is for the DevSecOps track discussion. Just a reminder that the DevOps Online Summit is coming up April 26th through the 30th. So, and Mark's going to talk more about this here in a second, but our call for speakers is out um, at bit.ly slash DOS dash CFS. So we will want to talk about that. But Mark, first off, why don't you introduce yourselves and then let's talk about this amazing track you're organizing. So uh, I hope it's going to be amazing. It's only amazing if we get good participation, right? Because it's yes. the speakers and the interaction that make our tracks amazing more so than uh, me making the track amazing. I'm just correlating the information. But uh, Dr. Mark Peters, uh, retired Air Force uh, a couple of years back. I'm working as the lead information assurance and security engineer on a U.S. Air Force cyber weapon system, uh, which sounds really cool. Uh, it always sounds cool when you say weapon system. And then having spent time in the Air Force, you realize that weapon system means it's a, a budgetary line they draw around it so they can get funding for everything. <laughs> Uh, I work with the DevOps Institute as a uh, DevOps ambassador. I'm also the USA chapter chair for our meetings in the U.S. Uh, so that's pretty fun as well. We get some good uh, conversations going off their skill up days, which they do monthly. Yep. Uh, but today I'm here about the DevSecOps track. Really what we want to get is some people talking about uh, better ways to integrate security, and better ways to bring all the dev and the ops and the security folks uh, together. If you've got some good ideas, if they've got some lessons learned, if they just want to share or offer functions because it covers such a wide uh, space of functions uh, because you first talk about trying to get the teams in. That's always the biggest challenge for a lot of people is how do I get my teams to work? How do I get those security guys that have been doing compliance for 20 years and have been locked back in their closet, uh, <laughs> you know, to do development and to mm -hmm. work with the operational folks to deliver things along. So I think that's a major hurdle. Uh, the other one is that the side of that is that when we talk about information security, too often we get these people who are good developers and they're in the track and they say, well, if you want to move ahead, you should go into information security. So they go into information security and they spend a couple of years walking around the floor at the SOC. And then they say, hey, you really understand that. Move into compliance. Uh, and then they move into compliance and they stop touching the machines and they stop touching code yeah. uh, and they get really good at compliance, but all of a sudden they don't understand the current tech. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it all flows uh, through those discussions. I mean, I'd love to talk to some people that are um, working with Open Policy Agent with the OPA uh, considerations to do configuration because that's a big part of it. Uh, there's a lot of those that we can change into working compliance. Uh, I'd love to talk to people that have seen operational issues or seen, uh, you know, just how they fit security and what their thoughts are uh, for the best ways to kind of do those things.